enjoy. It's just there. Yeah. I'm going to have to take the tar quickly, see if I can move the pair or not, because it's quite close to the edge. Okay. So we're having a day out in uh, Clumber Park. We've not been for absolutely ages. Can't find a single place like it in Lincolnshire. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can get fined and go to Clumber Park. Oh, don't say shit like that. No, I know, but it's just yeah, caged animal time now. So. And also, stop this in Lincolnshire. I well, tell me some places. There's not. I don't know any places. I don't it's not walking, is it? It's just parking up in the van and being on a bit of grass or whatever. One that's lived in We're at Clumber Park. <laughs> it's freezing. Seems like the rest of the world's at Clumber Park as well. Wow, people need to get out. I don't know how they do. Some people are going freaking crazy. Don't it's know true. The pee. Oh. Don't know the poo. It's so cold. <laughs> so, I can barely get the coat done. It's a little tight. <laughs> But I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a eating healthy. Oh, I have dogs now interrupting. Oh, classic. Seriously? <laughs> pick up your poop. Oh, dog waste. So basically, I decided to purchase a treadmill because one has put on a lot of weight over yeah. lockdown. A good two we or both three, have. Yeah, two or three stone. That's no, bad, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so, and uh, I, I did have a gym membership, it's just obviously the gym's closed and I'm a, I'm a bit lazy and never actually went. But you love running, though. I do, and, and I can't run in the street for some reason. It's like I'm waiting for a treadmill to move my feet. <laughs> uh, anyway, I purchased a treadmill from Argos, which cost about 550 quid, which I thought was quite extortionate. But I, I wanted one that got um, the this where you run cushion. cushion. That's it. Um, anyway, it came. It looked quite good to be honest. Mm. Just a basic one. Quite robust. Put it together and the damn thing didn't work. So, contacted Argos, blah blah blah. Long story short, they didn't have another one so it went back and I got a refund. However, the next day, I rang them up to double check and it turns out there's four wires and not three but they haven't put it in the uh, manual. Yeah. So, this man here convinced me to pay £1,500 for a Nordic track treadmill. Which that, that's get... so I could get on it, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, didn't contemplate anything. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so instead, and it comes with a, uh, a year's membership to iFit. I don't know what happens after that year, you know, with the screen. You just have to pay it. 
Um, but you're finding that all right, though. Yeah. You, you were yeah. hesitant, weren't you? You were like, oh, I'm not going to use that bit. Yeah. You seem to be using I'm it I'm actually time. enjoying it, but I've, so far I've done about 18 miles on it. And I've only had it since Friday. It's good. Um, my knees are absolutely shot. A bit like Eddie Izzard. Yeah, doubtful. No, my knees are shot because I've got osteoarthritis and shouldn't be running. But I don't like any of it. But I've been doing a little bit of well, I did yoga once. And to be fair, it's got you moving today. I know, I know. <laughs> your, your mood has got me moving today. It's been a right bit. Whoa. No, you know. I, it it, it don't feel like spring has sprung. No, well it did last month. I was just going to say, it's so much nicer when the wind's not blowing. I just want warm weather. No. No holidays this year abroad. Oh, God. Three holidays we had last year. Same for everybody though. I know, it's me. I'm not everybody else, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get lost last time we came to Clumber Park? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's probably pretty. I know. Are you remembering where we're going? I haven't got a damn clue. I'm just me and direction. We're not exactly uh, a winning combination. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Uh, so much better out this wind. Yes, it is. Oh, we're going over here apparently. Yeah, clearly can't do that. Come on. No. Oh. No. I do wish you didn't have anger issues. <laughs> it's well embarrassing. It's like the perfect bloody dog and then sees another dog. Goes nuts. I'm telling you, she's got schizophrenia. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, I definitely think wood is my favourite place. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sea person. Are you? I like, no, don't get me wrong. I, my idea of a, um, oh, what's it called? Where you in your van. Yeah, my stealth, car called. Stealth camping. Yeah. Is in a place like this. Yeah. And that you, you know, and you just make your own food, but you can't do that. There's no way you can just park up in somewhere like this. No. Unless anybody wants to tell us. <laughs> uh, but funny thing is, I always see people like my brother. He's always camping in the middle of a. Yeah, but he's not got a van. No, I know he that. Does, but... He does wild camping with a tarpaulin, doesn't he? But I always see people like, you know, I suppose they're probably in America and Canada and all that crap. Yeah, even coming here today, the number of posts to stop you parking on grass have definitely increased. Yeah. I think they're prepping for everybody coming out of lockdown. <coughs> I mean, I kind of get it. It's just, I don't know. Depressing. Yeah, you just want to get a van, you want to be free, don't you? Well, that's the whole point of it, isn't And it? then it turns out you're not free. Yeah, you pay to go on a caravan side. <laughs> you yeah, know. Just to be able to put the awning out. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you can park at the side of the road, can't you? Well, not always, though. And I suppose it's different for us because we're part time or weekend warriors, I suppose. So when you do go, you want the views. Yeah. You don't want the. You don't want the car parks, do you, really? Hey ho, take it over nothing. <laughs> yes. I'm so pleased with it. Oh, me because too. Not only did it, not only does it give you the freedom, kind of, but 
but it gave us something to do during lockdown one. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's been your issue depression wise in lockdown Definitely. three, I suppose. Weather's uh, bad. Well it's not just weather's bad. We've not had anything to yeah. do. Like like I say, we did we did the van in lockdown one, which gave you an outlet, it gave you something to focus on. The only thing you've had to focus on over the last few months is work. That's true. You know how much you love to focus on work, especially on a weekend. Yeah. Yeah, work's work for me. I try to make work work for me, so it finishes at five o'clock on Friday, but I suppose when you're not filling your weekends, then it's you start you, to think about it, yeah, don't you? It's not that you do anything on the weekend for work, it's the fact that you're Just mulling thinking. over yeah. about it, and it's like Sunday. It so reminds me of Laura being little. That whole Sunday night routine crap, and it's like getting ready. And I, think, I believe it, ru it ruins the weekend. It does. I mean, we've we've had times when we've been away in the van and come back at seven o'clock at night. Mm. And you just don't think about work then, do you? drink when we get back. Oh, thanks darling. You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. I get all the best jobs. <laughs> oh my god, what a difference. <laughs> it was like a different day. <laughs> so nice. What's that saying? I don't know. With the weather. In March. Oh, d tell me this is true. So it's March all weathers and April showers. He does not believe you. I've never heard of that before. I've heard of April showers. Yeah, or March all weathers. It's, it's hailstoning last night. I know, I just never heard of it. Because you weren't growing up in the country. Like country bunkin. That's right. You, know, you epitify the uh, the country <laughs> yeah. bunkin look. Well, heading back, yes. get some tea. Yes, you're cooking, remember? Oh yeah. Oh, my knees behind you. What are we having? Uh, we're having a vegan chilli. Oh yeah. Vegan meat. Fake mince. Yes, now that we're, well, we was pescatarian until we saw a <laughs> film yesterday. Documentary yesterday. Yeah, now apparently all the toxins in that, in the bloody fish, we're like vegetarian now. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll leave it yeah. there, shall we? Yes. Okay. Thanks right. for watching. Love you all. Bye. See ya. Bye.